society recognizes the ever-increasing need for exercise and recreation and the fun of participating in a healthful activity. This need is shared by all types of people, by everybody. Shorter working hours and ready transportation provide the opportunity to search for such activity. And duck pin bowling provides the end of the search. Duck pin bowling is a sport that has really caught on out east. Some of the duck pin pros were in Milwaukee recently, and Hank Stoddard talked with them about this type of bowling in tonight's Sports Focus. I, I picked up the ball. I couldn't get my fingers in it. Okay, in uh, duck pins, you're not allowed to have any holes in the ball, and uh, we have three balls per frame as, a, as opposed to two balls per frame in 10 pins. In 1903, John McGraw and Wilbert Robinson Two Baltimore Oriole baseball players owned the diamond bowling lanes on Howard Street in Baltimore. McGraw and Robinson theorized that true skill and the greatest challenge could best be attained in bowling by using a ball designed to fit the hand and using pins to conform to the size of the ball. This was done, and as a group of spectators witnessed the first match of this new bowling game, the remark was heard that the flying pins looked like a flock of ducks in flight. And the new game had a new name, which to this day is known as duck pins. I've been bowling duck pins since the 1954. I've been bowling about 18 years. I've been bowling 25 years. Wow. Yes. Uh, this is my 26th year on a pro tour. But I've been bowling since I was a kid. I've been bowling for 40 years. I've been, I've actually been bowling on the Pro Tour 38 years. I have been bowling uh, since 1984. I've been bowling on the Pro Tour for 30 years. About 15 years, maybe 16. I'll put down 15. I've done duck pin for two years. Uh, it was on and off. I, last year I did 10 pin. What do you think of 10 pins? Uh, it's a lot easier. A lot easier? <laughs> yeah, I use a 16-pound ball, so it's easier to just knock them down. But yeah. duck pin's more of a challenge. That's why I moved over to it. Three hundred games are common in ten pins. There's never been one bowled in duck pins. The duck pin's been around since 1900. You need more skill to roll the ducks. Uh, the scores are lower, but the skill level is higher. 10 pin bowling, I think, is more of a, a target game, you know what I mean? It's the, the weight of the ball, it's got, the equipment has a lot to do with the 10 pin game versus the athlete's ability in the duck pin game. The duck pin game, you have to be a lot sharper. It, it's, this is a lot tougher game. Well, if you bowl duck pins and you expect to strike, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna have some problems. It's a challenge. That little ball gets in between two pins and you wonder how it does, but it gets in there somehow. This is the actual pin placement for the 5-6 uh, split in 10 pins. And if you notice, a ball will not go through that hole. If you place the, your shot properly, you will knock both pins down in 10 pins. In duck pins, the placement is the same. There's still 12 inches center to center on the pins. There's no way that ball is going to take both of them pins out. Duck pin bowling is a game that involves a great amount of skill. Those small pins are no pushovers. But at the same time, it's a game that's quickly and easily learned. There's plenty of fun and action to give release to young spirits that demand expression and competitive exercise. When you wake up in the morning, it's like you got something to do. It's a lot of fun because you know you're going to come in here, you're going to talk to your friends, you're going to bowl, you're going to eat good food, and then generally you're just staying calm and happy. And you're not, it's like if you have stress, just come here and throw it out. And, you know, this is the only place you can get away with throwing something as hard as you want and your parents won't yell at you. <laughs> Youngsters take quickly to the game. In a surprisingly short time, they grasp the fundamentals of the approach and they're ready for a target. You can bring your whole family out, I don't care what age they are, from two to 92, and everybody can bowl. I'm 93 years old. I am uh, 
I'm an avid bowler. Sometimes I'm all right, sometimes I'm lousy. But uh, I'm fairly good. I think it's a good sport, it's good exercise. It's good something to get out and be with people. Gets me going. I, I can't even hold a big one now. Age takes its toll, you know. Seniors love it because it's an easy ball to pick up. Bowlers have a longer life as far as their, their bowling is concerned. But um, you just haven't gotten the youth bowlers to come up through like you have in 10 pins. The seniors are keeping it up. Let me put it that way, as you, as you can see. And uh, now the other kids come in, probably later on, maybe one if they have a week off, or they come on Saturday. But uh, it's the seniors that keep us going. Let's keep this place going. Fairlanes has 516 duck pin lanes for you, your family, and friends. Look us up. Come on into Fairlanes, the fun lanes.